I'm Rob Noecker and I'm an ophthalmologist at Ophthalmic Consultants of Connecticut in Fairfield, Connecticut. Hello, my name is Dr. Harvey Dubonnet. I'm the glaucoma specialist at the Clayton Eye Center. Most recently with Dr. Noecker, I've collaborated in writing a study that has recently been published in Clinical Ophthalmology 2012. Dr. Noecker and I did an integrated analysis of several studies. We in particular were looking for studies that had a robust protocol design and one of the arms contained Traviprost 0.004%. When we filtered the various studies, we were able to identify seven clinical studies that were peer-reviewed. Furthermore, six of those clinical studies were used as registration studies for different countries. We felt that gave us a very robust study group and we were able to identify over 1,500 patients in our study. The data from this study really tell us that Travaprose, when it's dosed once daily in the evening, provides extremely consistent IOP reduction throughout the, the day. 30% uh, was the benchmark that was used in this study, and that's a clinically relevant um, IOP percent reduction for IOP for glaucoma therapy. And so clinicians using Travaprose um, with dosing once in the evening will know what to expect and have confidence that interocular pressure reduction measured at one day is going, will be similar to that what we see at other time points throughout the day. The data from this study tell us that Travaprost, when dosed once daily in the evening, provides very consistent IOP control throughout all time points of the day. The 30% threshold was exceeded at all time points. The uh, safety parameters that were evaluated in the study indicated that the discontinuation rate was at 3.2% overall, and the hyperemia rates, uh, which is probably the most common side effect we see with this uh, prostaglandin analog drug, was very similar to what's been indicated in the packaging for Travitanzi. In our new study, we found that Travipros obtained a 30% reduction in pressure, and more importantly, that this pressure reduction was sustained at all time points. I think the most important finding in the analysis is that this data is very consistent with other data that's been produced in the past in terms of Travipros. We know that it has a long period of activity, so it delivers IOP lowering over a sustained period of time, and this um, evidence corroborates that and actually reinforces it quite well. 